All right. So, uh, first of all, <laughs> the project name is Crosswalk, um, but we maybe have to uh, think a little bit over the naming. <laughs> um, and uh, this is an internal project I'm currently working on. So, my name is Burkhard Pauli. I'm a um, senior developer at Adobe. Um, some of you might know me from the core components, but I recently switched uh, also my responsibilities. And um, yeah, um, in this talk, I want to give you a short um, overview how it is possible to use a traditional AM offer with Edge Delivery Service. Uh, one disclaimer ahead, I will also use sometimes a Franklin name. Um, I'm just so used to it, but uh, I hope you know, know what I mean. So um, let's first talk about why you actually want to use probably an AM authoring with edge delivery services. If you uh, want to switch to edge delivery service uh, first approach uh, and that is also what we recommend is to also use the document based authoring i th think you saw already in in the recent talks for example from stefan how simple it really is to edit something in google docs or sharepoint but in some cases this might not be a good fit for you or for your customer so for example if you aim author is a main content source for different pages you um, have in, in the instance and you don't want your authors to need to switch between different um, applications like SharePoint for one side and AM for the other side, it may be better to keep them in AM author as a main content source. Also, if you have to reuse all the assets and so on, um, this might be a good fit. Another reason might be if you are heavily using one of the advanced features of AIM authoring like MSM, workflows, translation, but also simple uh, automations like um, um, scheduled publication, um, which is currently not easy possible with uh, document-based authoring, then it might be also better to stay with AIM. Then, um, it's also a good entry point into edge delivery services um, without making two more organizational changes to you don't have to train your authors again. Um, it's just behind the scenes. Um, they just edit the page as before and then it's magically delivered um, to the edge delivery with the best performance. Of course, you also might want to preserve your investment in AM authoring. So, for example, if you have a lot of engineering effort in third-party integrations, which you want to publish, then um, this is also a good fit. And last but not least, or one good reason also is uh, for sure that you still want to provide your users a Visivic um, editor experience which you don't really have with document-based authoring as you also maybe have seen already. And it can also be combined with the traditional um, publishing tier. Um, so last week, our first customer went live with this crosswalk approach and they decided, for example, only to start with the landing page. All sub-pages are still delivered by um, the publisher. publisher. So which approaches do we offer? On one side, we have the traditional page editor in Touch UI, where you can already start today to use this uh, crosswalk approach. And you can just reuse your already existing components and the author knows how to work with them. You don't have to train them again. 
But this might be required, or in most cases, it will require an HTML converter to create this semantic HTML, which is uh, required to get it imported into the edge delivery services. And one also counterpoint is um, that you have to um, maintain both development environments. So if you, for example, develop new components, you have to develop it in, for AM, and also maybe you have to create a new block in, in the edge delivery services. So that's why we also will provide a second approach where we switch to the universal editor. So you, the universal editor, um, which um, also provides the Visivic uh, edit capabilities, will come with a set of components which are already render this semantic HTML, which is understandable for the edge delivery service. So you don't have to implement custom components. It's just that you um, create a HTML output, which would also be possible with a document-based approach. The blocks and CSS, the blocks JavaScript and CSS are reused in your AM auto environment. So the page in your author really looks the same as it will look later on that. So the most um, downside of this is that you might be required to do a content migration because if you have an existing site, you have to restructure all the JCR content to a new structure, uh, which is understandable, understandable by these uh, new components. And then, of course, you might also train your authors again because uh, Universal Editor works different as an old page, page editor, and um, you also need to train them on these new components. Let's have a, have a short look on the architecture before I can start a short demo. So what we see here is in the bottom, the tra traditional um, publisher, uh, sorry, the traditional author environment. And this author environment makes use of a new content distribution service, which we created for AMS the cloud service, which is a Crosswalk subscriber. This Crosswalk subscriber will communicate with the Franklin admin service to give him the information that we want to replicate a new page and the Franklin admin pages pull this page then from AM author. And if you use um, um, the old page editor with custom components or components which are not creating this semantic HTML, maybe you also have to create a semantic HTML converter, which is a IO runtime function. And um, this will then convert the HTML into your um, Franklin HTML. So let's switch to a demo. <coughs> yeah. So um, yeah, this is a small example page. Um, delivered by Edge Delivery Service, as you can see here on this um, domain. And um, if I switch to my cloud service environment, here I have the same page in the editor. And this is a traditional weekend tutorial page. So it is heavily uh, relying on the core components, which not create the semantic HTML. Oh, time's almost up. So I can um, now, for example, switch here the image. To a different one. Let's just use this one. Maybe uh, until we wait, I will uh, show you a short demonstration of the code we are using. Um, for this converter, for example. So this is just the import JS, as you know from, uh, from the Helix importer. And this import script will also be used by this IO runtime function. And um, yeah, 
Um, so time is up. Just reload the page. No, don't know why it's not working at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was an additional dialogue. Yeah, maybe you can check later. <laughs> but um, uh, let me quickly come to the summary page. So if you think this approach will be a good fit, then my call to action would be um, that you check out the reference projects on GitHub and assign for a VIP program because this approach is currently only delivered by VIP. So this means that you will closely work with engineering together on, on the customer project. Thank you.